I'm going to show you a tool that will completely structure your learning. If I had to start over and I will use this tool, I'm pretty sure I will get a job within three months. Are you tired of your current job and looking to become a developer? You are not alone. Many people are turning to coding as a way to make more money or have flexibility in their careers. And as we all know, making six figures as a developer is nothing unusual. But learning to code can be tough. In fact, 95% of people who start to learn to code will quit and only 6% succeed. And if you are watching this video, I will make sure you belong to the 6% who will succeed. As a self taught developer who will learn everything from the internet, I know exactly how challenging it can be. But I also know that with the right tools and the resources, almost everybody can do it. So if I can do it, you can do it too. Okay, so first thing first. You need to decide which path you're gonna take. There are many different types of developers, such as web developers, um, they have subcategories as a front-end developer and back-end developer. The front-end developer is someone who likes to build the features that you can see here on YouTube. For instance, we have the title that has certain size and font. We have the avatar, that is my picture, which is circle. And we have the subscribe button, which is black. And on click, change the size and also has the drop down menu. That is all built by the front end developer. Okay, let's have a look at the back end developer. Do you remember we mentioned the subscribe button? So on click, there is gonna be some logic behind it, meaning you as a subscriber, subscribe to my channel. And this is all done by back end developers. And as a back end developer, you most likely won't touch any front end. You can also become a full stack developer. You'll be able to work with front-end and back-end technologies and have a good understanding of the entire web development process. Or you are thinking to become a game developer. They use languages like C, C Sharp and Unity to create the game logic and the design. You may also work with engines like Unreal Engine to build the game. Or you can become a mobile developer. They use languages like Java, Swift, or any other frameworks like React Native or Flutter. It is important to do a research and choose the right type of developer you want to become. And if you don't know, you can follow my path. I started as a front-end developer and slowly learned mobile development on the job. So once you have it clear which type of developer you want to be, it's time to pick a programming language. With so many options to choose from, it can be absolutely overwhelming. But the good thing is you can filter them out based on type of developer you want to become. I'm going to show you a tool that will completely structure your learning. If I had to start over and I will use this tool, I'm pretty sure I will get a job within three months. And why do I think that? Because I was missing a structure that I can follow. And I was watching YouTube videos like you and I was jumping from one video to another. Also just to mention, I'm not sponsored by this tool at all. I'm simply promoting it because I just feel like it can help so many people to become a developer. Okay, the website is called roadmap.sh. It will recommend a path based on the type of developer you want to become and give you useful links to learn about the topic. Let's take the example of front-end developer. You will start learning about the internet and how it works. Then you will move on HTML, CSS and JavaScript. It's important to complete all the learning recommendations. Then create two or three projects. For instance, you can build a clone of Tesla website or Twitter or maybe Dyson. That way, you can apply what you learned and see the practical applications. Also, make sure you don't get stuck watching tutorials. I'm pretty sure it does not lead anywhere. Watch the tutorial once, code alongside it and then make the application better. Now, it's very likely that you will get stuck on something during your project. Literally everybody does. That's where ChatGPT comes in. It's a tool that you can ask for help and get answers quickly. For example, if you are building a navigation and you completely forgot how to use CSS to making sure that the logo is going to be on the left side and then the navigation is going to be on the right side, you can ask ChatGPT and it will help you out. Simply copy and paste your code, ask how you can do that and I'm pretty sure you will get the answer. But remember, it's a tool to only help you to speed up your process, not to write complete code for you. You are here to learn. If you simply copy and paste all the time, you won't learn anything and you will belong to the 95% of people 
who doesn't make it. So use ChatGPT just to help you with your answers, but make sure you spend some time, you understand what the output is and you apply it to your code. Okay, so once you created a couple of your website, it's time to create your portfolio. I made a video on how to create a portfolio. It's very simple and I will leave it somewhere here on the top. I would follow the roadmaps to learn frameworks. Frameworks are basically to help you to organize your code, making it easy to develop and maintain large applications. I love that we have React as a framework, as a recommendation, which is great and I highly recommend using it. But I would also check front-end development positions around your area. You might come across a lot of companies around your area who wants to hire just Angular developer and not so much React developers. So it only makes sense to actually learn Angular framework. So that way you will have a higher chance to actually get your first job. Okay, so in this point you have learned HTML, CSS, JavaScript and framework of your choice. You have built some projects with the help of ChatGPT. Then I would go to the section computer science. I would not necessarily learn another programming language like Python C, as it can be too much in the beginning. But I would go to the section data structure, read about it, understand it. And by this time you should have a good knowledge to get your first job. Once you have your first job, your learning just accelerates if you choose the right company. I will make a new video about it very soon, so if you are interested, please subscribe to my channel. The journey of becoming a developer is not easy, but with the right resources and mindset, you can absolutely do it. Hope that helped and I will see you next time. Peace.